Okay then, uh, let me let me move on to to talk about uh, my uh, talk about the life of Karen Carpenter, number two. So this is going to be uh, my uh, substantial talk about her life, and uh, here in this v video I'm go gonna talk about her parents before uh, Karen and uh, before Karen and Richard were born and uh, uh, Richard's birth and uh, Karen Carpenter's birth and so on. Uh, let me see. So uh, who were my uh, who were their parents? Their parents okay this is uh, her parent I mean her, her mother her mother was her mother was Agnes Carpenter Karen's uh, father was Harold Harold Carpenter Agnes Carpenter was born in 1915 so it's about um, more than more than a hundred years ago uh, from 1915 to 1996 so uh, Harold Carpenter uh, she he was he was 17 uh, seven years senior uh, he was born in 1908, so it, it, uh, he was born more than 110 years ago. And he, he was, uh, I, by the way, I, uh, Agnes was uh, born in born in uh, northeastern uh, uh, America, uh, Baltimore, Maryland. So, uh, so let's suppose that uh, this. This rectangle is America, the U United States. New York is he around here. Texas, Florida is around here. Uh, so this is California, Utah. So uh, Baltimore, Maryland is around here. So I think uh, it is to the north of, I mean, to the to the south of New York, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit to the south of uh, New York around here I guess here, if I remember correctly and so uh, Agnes was born sorry so Agnes was born in Maryland uh, Baltimore Maryland uh, uh, more than a hundred uh, years ago and uh, Harold was born some uh, somewhere very far Ch China uh, Wuchou, China, and uh, Wu Wuchou, China. Where is it? It's about. Uh, it's in China, and it's uh, it's rather close to uh, Hong Kong. So let let's suppose that uh, this is China. This rectangle is China, and uh, Beijing. I mean, Beijing is around here. And uh, Tibet. Tibet is around here, and uh, uh, excuse me, this this <laughs> yeah, this is this is more like it. So let, let, let let's suppose that this rectangle is China, and uh, uh, Beijing is around here, and uh, Hong Kong is around here, Tibet is around here, uh, Xinjiang Uyghur is around here. And uh, so Hong Kong is, if Hong Kong is around here, uh, Wuzhou, Wuzhou is, was around here, is around here. So rather close. Even though it is rather close, it is rather close as compared with the uh, entire China, but from Wuzhou to uh, Hong Kong, maybe it's uh, dozens of hours tens of hours from uh, Hong Kong maybe but uh, as compared with the entire China uh, you, I think you can say that uh, Wuzhou China is rather close to Hong Kong so it's it's rather close to Hong Kong so uh, Harold uh, Harold the father was born in Wuzhou China why in China he's not Chinese at all, he's uh, British. 
originally a Brit. So uh, his father, his uh, his parents were um, Brits, originally from Brits, and they were and and uh, his father was uh, was a uh, was an official or something. If I uh, yes, I think so. I I don't quite remember what uh, what is what is written, but uh, if I remember correctly, he was some kind of official. Uh, in uh, in southern China, and uh, he was married. Her parents, uh, her parent, uh, both of the parents were in China, stationed in China, and uh, their ch children, including Harold, the father, was also in China, and uh, and uh, his father. I mean, the Harold's that. Uh, Harold, the father's uh, parents were both uh, musicians. It says uh, they say so. Musicians. I don't know if they were professional uh, musicians or not. I'm, I don't know. Amateur musicians or uh, professional musicians. I don't know. I don't know whether they uh, they were actually paid to to uh, sing and uh, play music, uh, but. Uh, but anyway, they, it is said that uh, both uh, both of the both of uh, Karen Carpenter's uh, gra uh, grandparents on the father's side were musicians, and uh, they when whenever uh, a lot of friends came to uh, came to their house. Uh, 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 Karen's grandfathers, uh, grand uh, grandparents, uh, uh, entertained the guests by playing music and singing. That's what it says. What the what the book says. What this this book says. And uh, although uh, his parents were quite interested, uh, actually musicians. Harold Harold was not quite. Uh, quite interested in mu making music. He was interested in music, all right, but he he was rather an, an appreciator of music. So he listened to a lot of records, but he he was not interested in, um, uh, for example, uh, practicing practicing how to play the piano. Uh, his parents were good enough to to have. To, to send uh, Harold to uh, I mean uh, send Harold Harold to uh, to, uh, to to a piano teacher, but uh, he uh, Harold the father I mean the father of uh, Karen Harold was not quite interested in in uh, in uh, learning how to play the piano. Instead, he uh, listened to a lot of music, and so uh, when he was uh, since he was very young, uh, he. Uh, I guess he has uh, he has been uh, he had been accumulating a lot of records, and so when uh, when Karen and Richard were uh, were born, they were, I mean when Richard were bo uh, was born anyway, uh, he had he had accumulated a lot of records. It, they say I don't know how many records. Maybe I imagine that uh, more than a thousand records, maybe. I imagine. And uh, Agnes, it, they say that uh, Agnes, Agnes was uh, smitten with Harold uh, because he was handsome, and he uh, he had a great great looking car. Yeah, Harold is quite interested in cars. Uh, he he's he's quite interested in cars and music. And this, these hobbies uh, were um, were carried on to Karen and Richard. So, Richard, especially to Richard, Richard and Harold are car maniacs and also music maniacs, of course. And uh, Karen also is passionate about music and also uh, not as much as 
Harold and Richard maybe, but the Karen is also was also uh, passionate about, uh, enthusiastic about cars too. So these these people, Harold and Richard and Karen, were were uh, really enthusiastic about the cars. And Agnes, Agnes anyway, yeah, when when uh, Harold was Harold was at that time, I mean, at that time yes. Uh, was in in the US, USA already. I mean, uh, um, I don't I don't quite remember the details, but the Harold had moved from uh, Britain after um, after taking take uh, after being ex ex educated in uh, Britain. Uh, he moved on to uh, the United States. I mean, first he was he was uh, he was being raised in China. But uh, her parents, especially her mother, was quite concerned about Harold and his siblings because they, they, uh, in China, there were not enough uh, opportunities, good opportunities, for them to to get a good good enough education. In order to get a decent education in English, they had to go back to Britain because in China. Uh, there were no no proper school, so uh, maybe in in China, Shanghai or something, maybe there was. But uh, uh, where he was, where he was, uh, where uh, Harold was, uh, wa uh, where Harold was, there were no good enough uh, schools. Anyway, uh, so anyway. Uh, China was not a good pr place for for the ch children's education. That's what uh, the parents uh, decided. So uh, the parents moved back to to China. I <laughs> excuse me to uh, to Britain in order to give the children uh, a decent education. So in Britain, uh, Harold got uh, uh, got educated. And after that, when after he got uh, became adult, became an adult. I don't quite remember the details, but the Harold somehow uh, moved moved to uh, north uh, northeastern America uh, near near the location, and I mean near where Agnes lived. And so uh, when Agnes. Uh, met Harold. Uh, Harold was already living. Oh, uh, I, uh, quite near uh, Agnes's uh, dwelling. So uh, when uh, when Agnes first met Harold, he was he was handsome. So uh, he was handsome, and he had a great car. He had a great looking car because Harold was into cars. So, uh, when Agnes, when, he, when she was very young, Harold, uh, Harold, uh, Harold uh, offered to, to, to give her and her, uh, and her uh, sister a ride, a ride home. And uh, when, when Harold was driving Agnes and her uh, sister home, uh, she was beginning to uh, be smitten with uh, Harold because of because of his handsomeness. That's what uh, the book the book says. This book says. And uh, so uh, I guess because uh, Agnes was rather domineering, I th I think that uh, I think that uh, perhaps uh, Agnes. Uh, Made rather uh, active motions to uh, Harold to to attract him, maybe, and they got married. They got married in 1975. Uh, uh, so uh, they got married in 1935 when Agnes was 20 and Harold was what 27 years old, and then Richard was born in 1946 so uh, Richard was born in 1946 when Harold was uh, 38 and Agnes was uh, 
31. Rad, in those days, in those days, uh, people must have uh, got married and uh, uh, had children rather early, I guess. But uh, in in these people's, in the parents, uh, in these people's uh, case, they they had to wait. They had to wait rather long uh, before they had their first child. So they had to wait. Uh, they ha they got married in 1935, and got, uh, Richard got uh, born were bo was born in 1946. So 11 years they they waited 11 years before Richard was born. So uh, both of the parents were rather mature when he was born. So uh, perhaps it was lucky. It is it is. It is a good thing for for the parents to be rather mature, emotionally mature, when their firstborn is uh, is born, isn't it? So, uh, in in that sense, uh, Richard was Richard and, and Karen were rather uh, lucky, I guess. And R Karen was born uh, four years later, so she was born uh, in 1950. So, uh, Karen was born in 1950 when Agnes was 35 and when Harold was uh, 42, rather mature. So, uh, in this book, this Ray, this Ray Coleman's book, The Carpenters, this is a this is a biography uh, an authorized biography uh, this is a biography authorized by uh, by uh, Richard Carpenter and the rest of the fam the Carpenter family and uh, in this book uh, the, this book contains a lot uh, of pictures uh, the parents pictures uh, this way and uh, this picture is from 1947 and uh, this is Harold, Harold, uh, the father. He he does look handsome, and she, uh, Agnes, looks great too, doesn't she? And that uh, this is Richard. So uh, Richard must have been one year old or something. Yes, he was born in 1946. So exactly one year, he was he was one year old. And this is Karen. Richard. This is Karen. This is Karen when he, she was maybe yes, right after he, she was born, maybe one or two or three uh, months old, maybe. And this is Agnes. Agnes is here uh, smiling. The and uh, Karen is smiling too. Karen is smiling and Agnes is smiling. So at this point, at this point at least, they were in a good relationship, I guess. Although we don't know about later, about about what happened later, we are not sure. But uh, at least at this point anyway, at this point anyway, they were in a good relationship. I guess. And so, uh, according to Mr. According to the author Schmidt, uh, who wrote this uh, this newer uh, biography of uh, Karen Carpenter, uh, Karen Carpenter, I mean, excuse me, Karen's fa mother, uh, Agnes, is a perfectionist and. Uh, domineering and uh, very fastidious cl cleanly she uh, Agnes the mother is so into clean cleanliness so that uh, when yes uh, she uh, the mother uh, kept the, the house every corner of the house 
clean, completely clean, squeaky clean. So much so that uh, the garage, the garage is usually dirty, isn't it? Because the garage is for cars, and the cars, cars tires are usually dirty. So, so much so that the, the garage, the floor, the floor of the garage is usually dirty, isn't it? It is natural that they should be dirty. But Karen Carpenter, I mean, Karen Carpenter's mother, Agnes, is so fastidious so that uh, she cleaned every corner of the uh, garage uh, so completely that uh, uh, people people said you could you could eat off the floor of the garage. Uh, so the garage was was uh, spick and sp and spick and span completely clean and uh, her uh, fastidious fastidiousness was so intense that uh, she cleaned all corners of the house and uh, uh, she was not satisfied with uh, cleaning only her own house uh, she when she saw when she saw uh, out of of her own window she had to see the the window of her neighbor and when the 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 when the uh, when the window pane of of her uh, neighbor was dirty she had to go over to to her neighbor and clean that window of the the, the neighbor's house so uh, Agnes Carpenter uh, Agnes Carpenter the mother was that fastidious so she was that compulsively uh, uh, into clean cleanliness so uh, this kind of uh, this kind of behavior and psychology uh, can manifest is itself into uh, both negative and uh, positive uh, aspects so when when it turns out negative uh, this kind of uh, this kind of person can be uh, so demanding so strict and uh, domineering to a point of to 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 a fault but when it manifests manifests itself into uh, into uh, positive aspects it uh, makes it uh, cleans the house completely and uh, uh, does uh, the owner uh, the person uh, tends to do uh, uh, do his do her uh, do her business uh, completely uh, and uh, so become success very very successful in business or in art or anything like that and this this uh, this uh, a sort of a compulsive I mean this kind of uh, perfectionism of uh, of uh, the Agnes the mother uh, was carried on to evidently carried on to uh, the children and Richard inherited it and uh, Karen also inherited it so uh, uh, because of that uh, Rich both Richard and Car uh, Karen were uh, quite perfectionist in their own uh, in their own uh, business of art in music they were perfect all the time so they they were demanding to themselves not only to themselves but also they tend to uh, to be demanding to 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 the band met the band members too so uh, when when uh, when the when any of the band members i mean carpenters members uh, they were always um, they were always followed by uh, uh, three, five, five, mm? three or four or five um, band members, fellow members. So, so all together they were uh, when they were when they were biggest. Uh, the carpenters the carpenters band was as large as uh, seven seven members. And uh, the other five members had to follow strictly the orders 
the, the instructions of Richard Carpenter and Karen Carpenter. Both Richard and Carpenter were so demanding, uh, so demanding both to themselves and to the other members, so that, so that uh, they were very strict. And, uh, but uh, the members, the members, uh, the other members couldn't complain about that, or, uh, however harsh those demands may be, because they, uh, Rich, R both Richard and Karen, were so perfect that they didn't, they didn't make any mistakes at all. So uh, the band men the members had to, had to follow, uh, had to strictly follow their their instructions and demands. So, uh, uh, so it is evident that uh, uh, Agnes, the carpenter, uh, Agnes, the mother's um, perfectionism, uh, were was carried on, carried uh, forward to to both of the the children, and they inherited it, and uh, uh, they inherited this perfectionism. And uh, this perfectionism when, uh, manifested itself in uh, in positive in positive aspects in the form of uh, perfect music, but but uh, sometimes they manifested itself into to negative aspects as well, in the form of in the f in the case of Karen Carpenter in the form of uh, excessive dieting and uh, perfectionism about his about her body issues uh, to to the point where she had to 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 actually destroy herself until her demise i'm afraid so it was a kind of uh, it was a kind of obsessive compulsion that's what uh, the author schmidt uh, randy schmidt says so uh, So uh, uh, let's see. Excuse me. So such was the family, and Harold. Uh, although uh, Agnes was domineering and uh, she was demanding, and uh, she was like the boss of the family. She ruled the roost. So she was, in many cases, very strict. Uh, she was always strict. And she was so career-oriented, uh, success-oriented, and uh, it is, in a sense, it was because of Ma Agnes, the mother, that Richard and uh, Karen succeeded, in a sense. And uh, Richard, when she, when he was, uh, he was, a, uh, he was, um, he was a genius by nature. I mean, I mean, he was a musician by nature. Uh, so when he was uh, one or two or three, she, he was already beginning to manifest his uh, genius, musical genius. And when when he was when he was uh, when he was uh, Richard was uh, perhaps three or four, four. Although he couldn't read yet, he his uh, musical uh, he he was so into music. And uh, he he would listen to he would always listen to 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 the to the, the numerous records owned by uh, owned by uh, his father all the time. So uh, so he he must have memorized memorized and uh, remembered all the distinct all the uh, all the all the kinds of music he was. He has, he had been listening, uh, listening to, and uh, he, he knew, uh, at the age of three or four maybe, he although he couldn't read, he could, he could, he could uh, identify each record, by simply touching the grooves with his, with his fingers. So uh, although he couldn't read the, the writing on the jackets. He could identify each record by simply touching the grooves of the records with his fingers. 
so uh, by the by his touch of the grooves he could identify he could identify each record he knew which record belonged to uh, which record was for for which song by which artist so in so uh, Richard was that that uh, he was such an uh, such a genius already uh, at the age of uh, three or four uh, before he could uh, began to s to 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 read. And uh, when Karen was born, he was in this way. He was already beginning to manifest his uh, show his uh, genius. So when Karen was one or two or three. He was he was already six or seven, right? So uh, so you could say that uh, all uh, uh, throughout Karen's life, Richard Richard seemed to her an accomplished genius already. So uh, to Karen, it must have seemed that. Uh, Richard was Richard was was a genius, was an accomplished genius already, all the time. Uh, every day, twenty-four hours a day, every day throughout the year, and uh, at, uh, from the age of from uh, from a very tender age of Richard, he was already uh, such a genius. So Agnes was crazy about about her, about him, and he Agnes Agnes loved Richard so much because of his talent, for one thing, and because of uh, gender, because of because of the gender differences, maybe. Uh, the mother tends to love love uh, uh, love her uh, sons, especially his first first son, right? So Agnes well, doted doted completely on uh, Richard, and uh, he uh, she she uh, very early on uh, she uh, Agnes, the mother, decided had decided that. The rest of the family, the whole family, should should uh, de dedicate their lives to 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 in order to in order to make Richard successful, help Richard successful. So they had decided that uh, I mean the parents had decided. I mean Agnes had decided that both both of the parents should have. Have two jobs. Uh, they were not wealthy at all. So they were rather poor. So uh, slightly below, maybe uh, average or slightly below average, maybe. And they were not rich at all. So uh, in order to, in order to make Richard uh, help Richard successful in the music industry, they, of course, music. To study music. And uh, to 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 uh, to buy musical instruments and to to uh, to get an education in music, it costs a lot of money. Art costs money, so uh, naturally Agnes and Harold had to work a lot. Harold, Harold, both Harold, Harold had two two jobs. Uh, Agnes had two jobs too, so they worked very hard. In order to earn enough money to give Richard a good enough education in the, in music, and uh, whenever whenever Richard wanted needed any musical instrument, they were especially Agnes. Agnes was quick to uh, give whatever uh, give give him whatever he wanted. So first, a very big very big uh, uh, grand piano and then after that another grand piano and so on and uh, tuition I mean 
in order to in order for him to to uh, become a good pianist uh, he had to get a good education so he so they were they were busy busy working to earn enough money to give him a a good tutor and tut tutoring costs money i mean tut tutoring costs money and uh, pianos cost a lot of money and uh, sheet music and uh, records uh, cost a lot of money and, uh, and then after that long after that Karen began to uh, when when Karen was uh, 13 or 14 she she began to uh, learn how to play the drums actually uh, w uh, actually until until Karen was 13 uh, the whole family lived in uh, New Haven Connecticut New Haven Connecticut New Haven Connecticut is around here I mean suppose this is the USA New York is around here New Haven Connecticut is to the north of New York around here and then until until Karen was 13 they lived around here and this it is snowy and uh, very cold and uh, to live there means to to uh, take care of the tires by by uh, by applying uh, snow chains to the to the to the uh, tires and uh, uh, they had to spend a lot of time uh, uh, removing uh, removing snow and so on S and uh, the father Harold the father was sick and tired of the, s the cold atmosphere actually as I said before uh, Harold the father the father was originally from he was born and raised in uh, uh, China uh, southern China right so in southern China um, rather close to Hong Kong it must it, it must have been rather rather mild and hot rather warm right so Harold must have been used to warm warm uh, weather so he was sick and sick and tired of this cold climate so he, he wanted to get out of it get out of the the area for one thing for another thing he wanted to he and Agnes wanted to uh, give Richard a very good education and uh, m help him help him uh, become successful in music and in order to in order to become successful in music there are two options either either New York or Los Angeles Hollywood and they opted for Los Angeles why why not New York because New York is another area which is cold right so uh, Harold Harold the father didn't like New York and he they they decided to go to go to Los Angeles they decided to relocate to Los Angeles so from there to the ex there at the extreme uh, northeast of uh, the United States to the extreme uh, southwest of the United States they moved and uh, this distance is so long that uh, they said that uh, people living here uh, had no absolutely uh, had they live people living here had had almost no chance to to see any any friend living here uh, so uh, Karen Carpenter when when she had to move to uh, Los Angeles together with her, her parents she was really sad because for the past uh, 13 years she was always always friendly with uh, she was a very good pal she was a very good sport for 
for for her uh, for her pals there, and uh, for the past uh, thirteen years, he, she had a she had had a really good time, and uh, her uh, all her uh, friends loved her very much. On the contrary, uh, Richard uh, Richard was very happy to move there because, uh, for one thing, Richard. Richard wanted to become successful. Uh, music was music was all for uh, uh, Richard, for one thing, and also Richard did not like. He was not a a people type. I mean, he was. It's not that he hate, hated people, but he uh, he was he was not so crazy about. Relationships with people or friends. He was rather, uh, he he was he rather liked to to be alone, listening to music and making music and comp composing and playing the piano and so on. So he was rather aloof from people. So uh, Richard, at the age of uh, seventeen or something. He didn't hesitate to move to uh, Los Angeles. So both of the parents were were thinking only of Richard, Richard's uh, the future success of Richard only, and uh, the father was really glad to be to be getting out of uh, the, the 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 cold weather. So uh, Karen was the only one who was sad to leave the leave the the community. But anyway, she had to. At, at first, she was really sad. But after a while, she perhaps consciously or unconsciously, she had to force herself to 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 uh, to accommodate herself or uh, adapt herself to the new. To the new culture, to the new uh, atmosphere, to to the new uh, friends. But after a while, she found a very good uh, hobby there. Uh, so uh, at the age of thirteen, she she was here uh, in California, uh, Los Angeles. I mean, uh, not in Los Angeles, but. Uh, Actually, Downey, Downey, California. Downey, California is very near Los Angeles. It's not really Los Angeles, but uh, Downey, Downey, California is uh, a little bit, a little, a little bit beside, uh, a little bit away from Los Angeles. Not really Los Angeles. Los Angeles may be a very great place for for success, maybe a business and so on. And Downey is a bit, bit, a little bit more like, more like what? More like a small town, not really a small town, but uh, as compared with Los Angeles, which is really huge. Downey, California, is a bit like a small town. So uh, Downey, California, is was a very good place to start, very good place to live in. Uh, because the community is rather like a small town, uh, it's really great in every sense. Uh, not like a large city, but still it is. Beside a very huge city, which is Los Angeles, which contains Hollywood, so uh, to live in uh, to live in Downey is a great option. Was a great option for the for the family, for Richard. And for Karen too, in later years, Karen, af after the age of uh, at the age of uh, thirteen, uh, Karen uh, went into went into a high school there, and uh, uh, she had to take uh, as one of her, as one of her. Uh, as one of her courses at uh, high school, she had to choose either gym or or um, 
brass band. Uh, she opted for brass band. She didn't want to get into the gym class. Why not? She, she although she was very much, very much into. Uh, she was. She had always been. So far, she had always been uh, a tomboy, and uh, she had when she was uh, when she was when she was uh, a kid she always uh, she had always played baseball in uh, new uh, new haven connecticut she had always played baseball every day she played uh, her her machine gun a toy machine gun and a uh, softball and so on she was into sports she was really athletic uh, actually agnes the mother was athlet athletic too so uh, this athlete, this athletic uh, genes uh, were carried on to uh, Karen. On the other hand, Richard uh, abhorred uh, Richard abhorred gym and uh, sports. He, Richard was not uh, athletic at all. Uh, he he really liked he for him music was everything. And uh, on the other hand, uh, Karen was really, w really a sport sportswoman type. But still, she didn't like to get into the gym class. Why not? Because uh, in the gym class, uh, uh, students were uh, supposed to uh, follow every, every all the instructions by by the teacher, and uh, they had to uh, in the gym class they had to run long. Uh, run in the uh, uh, in the playground and so on. And she, uh, Karen hated that. Uh, she, uh, although she she liked to to, to move move his bo uh, move her body and uh, play play balls and so on. She she didn't like to follow the instructions of teachers and run uh, monotonous monot 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 courses maybe. And she didn't like it, so she wanted to opt out of the gym class. And uh, instead, she she uh, chose the, the the brass band, the brass band, uh, the brass band. And in the brass band, uh, she was first uh, she was first uh, given a Glockenspiel. And the Glock and the Glockenspiel. The Glockenspiel is uh, something like a, something like what? Glockenspiel is, uh, is something like a xylophone. Yes, xylophone. Like this. Uh, so uh, these are uh, metal plates, and uh, with a stick you you play each plate and uh, high pitched tones are made this way so uh, this kind of the xylophone called the glockenspiel uh, Karen had to play in the brass band but uh, she didn't like it <laughs> she, she didn't like it at all maybe this this was too monotonous for her she wanted something something else and she there she there she encountered the drums uh, and uh, a lot of guys a lot of uh, boy members were into drums and uh, in the brass band they the uh, big drum like this boom 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 and sh at first she she wanted to do that but uh, they didn't let her do it. Why not? Because uh, girls don't do that. Girls don't play drums. That's what they said. Uh, in those day, until those those, th those days, there was absolutely no woman, no girl who uh, who played the drums. So nobody, no girl. Uh, no girl uh, dared to play the drums, but Karen was different. She didn't care. She she was into it. She liked it, so uh, she she um, earnestly 
asked for permission mm -hmm. to to play the to to do to take the drums. So finally, she she got the permission and she 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 started to play the drums. And uh, uh, there was a uh, out in the in the drum section. There were a lot of guys. There were a lot of uh, boys playing the drums, but uh, there most of the guys were not quite serious into they were not serious uh, about uh, playing the pra playing the, and uh, practicing the the drums but there was one boy one member uh, named Frank Chavez Frank Chavez Frank Chavez this guy was really serious he had been playing the drums uh, ever since he was 3 years old and he had even gone to uh, to 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 uh, to a tutor, a famous tutor, a professional drum drummer. Uh, so uh, in Hollywood, so uh, he had go gone to 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 a tutor uh, f who was a professional drummer in Hollywood. Uh, so he was very good and serious this Frank Chavez boy and the Karen Carpenter was seems to have uh, Karen Carpenter was really into the drums so she she every day she uh, followed this Frank Chavez guy and uh, Frank uh, Frank was really kind enough to, to, to teach her everything and uh, Karen was serious. Uh, was a serious student, and uh, uh, Frank wa Frank uh, loved the drums very much. So much so that he was he was really glad to to meet someone else like Karen, who was so passionate about the drums. So he was really glad to be teaching everything he, he knew to to her, and. Uh, so uh, Karen, every day for many hours after the after the after school too, she would she would accompany uh, Frankie Chavez to to his home too, and there for many hours every day uh, uh, she uh, absorbed everything everything all the instructions from Frank Chavez about uh, about about all the uh, sophisticated techniques about the, uh, about uh, how to play uh, the drums and she absorbed all that and in in a very short time maybe uh, several months yes at first uh, at first uh, since she had didn't have the proper drums at home. She uh, used uh, what rice uh, bowls and uh, uh, glasses and uh, and uh, tables and so on. And uh, the father's her father's chopsticks turned into was was turned into to uh, to uh, sticks. And uh, with the chopsticks, she practiced hitting the tables and uh, with the, the glasses and so on and she she practiced for many uh, numerous hours uh, innumerable hours every single day and uh, after several after sometimes after sometimes she she earnestly begged her parents to to buy her she was only 13 or 14, right? So uh, she didn't have money. So she had, she, she, she had no course other than to ask her, her parents to buy her a proper uh, drums. And she actually contributed some of her pocket money. She had had accumulated some, some, some money from her. Uh, uh, regular uh, allowances, so she contributed some money 
to to the uh, to the fund uh, provided by uh, uh, her parents and uh, together uh, Karen Carpenter's own money and uh, the, her parents money uh, were combined to buy to buy uh, a beginner's set a beginner's drummer drum set uh, at first uh, Agnes Carpenter uh, the mother uh, opposed. She was against uh, Karen's uh, Karen's uh, de decision to 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 play the drums and uh, buy a big uh, a big uh, set of drums because uh, because uh, she was sure that uh, this was this was one of uh, Karen's. Uh, uh, whimsical, um, temporary uh, uh, craze, crazes, because in the past uh, she had uh, attempted some other, some other uh, hobbies, but uh, soon, very soon, she got tired of them and uh, did never touched them again. Uh, it, uh, but, it, but here, uh, as for the drums, she was really serious. And uh, because of uh, because of Richard's uh, suggestion, uh, Richard Carp Richard Carpenter at that time uh, said that uh, that uh, Karen's uh, Karen's uh, Karen as a drummer will be very useful for him too. So uh, Agnes Carpenter, because of Richard's uh, suggestion. Uh, Karen Carpenter decided that uh, if Karen, if Karen was so serious about playing the drums, uh, and uh, later on if she, if she uh, uh, could turn into a good drummer, a, a drummer good enough to to support Richard, uh, Richard the son, then it would be great. So uh, Agnes, the mother, was was ready to do anything for the f for the for the son. So in order to in order for the benefit of her son, she she uh, gave a special permission to to give to to buy uh, the daughter that those uh, that that set of drums. So they went to they went to Hollywood and uh, they bought a, they bought a new uh, drum set for her and uh, it was a beginner set and she practiced every single day excuse me or oh, almost an hour has passed so I have to uh, stop the video here and uh, so. Uh, In the next, uh, I'm I'll g before I uh, move on to to my uh, next stage of my discussion. I will let me stop the video here. Thank you.